This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. Over the past on Drop Rate episodes, each video has been dedicated to one item and one grind each. But today we are going to be doing two unique grinds in just one video. First grind on the menu will be Spiritual Sorrows Mages. These require 83 Slayer to kill and were released as recent as 2022 with the next update. These mages are a unique version of the Spiritual Mages subset and they have a better drop table in general but also include uniques such as the Nihil Shards, Blood Essence and finally the Ancient Ceremonial Pieces. So in this video we are starting off with 640 Spiritual Sorrows Mages or the Ancient Ceremonial Top. As the spiritual mages are weak to ranged, this is the gear setup we're going to be using for the grind, it is worth around 300 million GP. Now to be able to actually access this area in the first place, you need a frozen key to enter this frozen door. I of course already have done that as I've done next before, but if you have not done it, the way you get the key pieces is one from each of the other God Wars bosses. So if you kill Bandos once, Armadol once, Saradomin once and Samurak once, you will have the frozen key. Now all of the monsters in this area that I'm going to be killing the mages in is Saros creatures and that is why I am equipped with an ancient blessing as this counts as a Saros item. If I unequip this, all of these monsters will instantly attack me at once. I have before got the mask and the leggings from the ceremonial pieces but of course we are missing the top which would win us the challenge and we are missing the gloves and boots for just collection log slots. But the grind has now begun and we have the kill tracker at the bottom of the screen as I implemented in my last video, 3 kills deep and I cannot believe we have still not got the item. I don't think I will actually have to use this a lot because these drop a lot of super stores and a bunch of potions to keep me going but if I want I can actually just use the next bank as I will have enough KC pretty much always to enter this, it drains I guess like 35 because I've done combat achievements. I can bank here and just go straight back into it. Actually, I guess we do have to leave the first hard clue scroll. These are not that rare, they're pretty common so we will probably see quite a lot of them. And as always of course, we will open these at the end of each grind. Oh, there we go, that is the first unique drop I guess of the grind, Nihil shards, 9 of them. They are used to make ancient brews and they are pretty valuable. I was waiting for these, the iconic dragon boots of course. These are spiritual mages even though they are the new version and they still do drop the beautiful dragon boots. 157k, they still have pretty decent value for how old they are. And they look great as well of course. Oh no way! We actually get one of the ceremonial pieces this early, 55k in, and it is one of the ones I am missing for the collection log. Of course, not the body which we are going for in this challenge, but I'll take the collection log slot. After this one, we're hitting 100k in. It's actually been a bit longer than you might expect because I have got four hard clue scrolls during this time and having to re-gear, run back and forth here to get back into the grind as well after completing one. It takes a while, but that is now 100kc done and we've gained almost 600,000 GP. And that is not of course including the money from the hard clue scroll, so this is not that bad money. Over a million GP gained so far and 200kc hit. I was waiting for that, the first blood essence at 218kc, they are only 1 in 128, so a bit unlucky there, but that's probably one of the more valuable drops I can get, 60k. Oh, no way! Ancient Ceremonial Top has been achieved on 288kc and we got 1.6 million GP for this grind which is actually not bad at all. And that is now the challenge one. We were absolutely spooned on this one. Before we get into the second grind of the video, let's open the 5 hard caskets that I now get to keep all the loot from as we won this challenge. And hopefully we can get some luck. I am wearing the pieces that I got from that grind, the boots and the top to hopefully get some luck so let's go ahead and open them see what we get and it is a master clue on the first one but i am not really feeling like doing master so i'm just going to be opening all of these and i'll do only the one master i get at the end 
145k, second one 87k, Pirate's Hat, not a unique, but 89k, and the last one is a lot of rune items, 121k. I guess we'll do the master now. And the final step of the master clue scroll, let's see what we get from the casket as well. That is a unique item, lesser demon mask, pretty nice. Not worth too much though, but let's get into the second grind of the video. These creatures are the Abyssal Demons. They require 85 Slayers to kill and are probably the most iconic Slayer creatures in the entirety of Old School RuneScape. At a rate of 1 in 512, they drop the Abyssal Whip, a tier 70 melee weapon which has for the longest time been a massive stepping stone for weapon upgrades in the game. So let's defeat up to 512 Abyssal Demons or receive the famed Abyssal Whip. For this grind, we actually have a good excuse to use one of my favorite weapons in the game, the Venator Bow. It is worth 40 million GP, and I will show you guys exactly why in a few seconds. The weapon is so good because it has area of effect damage. It bounces between enemies, and it actually tags new enemies as well. So if I am pretty much just AFKing here, it will keep aggroing new monsters all the time, and the damage is also extremely good. If you're wondering what the Ash Sanctifier is, it is an item that automatically scatters the ashes of these creatures when they die for a minor prayer experience boost, so that is 42 prayer on each kill. When it comes to making money from these creatures, most of the money is definitely from the Abyssal Whip drop, but uh, on top of that, we can also get these and sold Abyssal Head, which are 4.5k each, and also you can get a couple of rune items, which is why I have brought High Alchemy. Yo, the first drop has been decided, Ancient Shard, as we are in the Catacombs of Current, of course, we can get both Totem Pieces and the Ancient Shards as well on top of the normal drop table. Those are for charging your Arc Light, and they are 1 in 233. I think the ranged XP an hour speaks for itself, 172,000 XP an hour, just killing Abyssal Demons with a Venator Bow, completely AFK. That is, that is proof that this bow is actually really useful in some places. And on 50kc, second shard. And of course, just like the mages, these also drop hard clue scrolls and a tooth half of key apparently. So we're of course going to be doing all the clue scrolls as well. They are 1 in 128 and we can also get elites, but they are extremely rare. As we're nearing 100kc done, I have to confess that I would love to see some dark totems almost more than I want the abyssal web, because in the future I would love to do a big Scotiso video but getting all the totems takes such a massive amount of time that it's kind of hard to actually get an interesting video for that done. That right there is the best drop we have seen so far on this grind. I guess the hard clear scroll could debatably be better because it's probably worth more, but 22k, at least it is pure money. 23k when alking, nice. Oh my god, someone got the Hydra pet in my clan, let's go. Massive shout out to X Beer Bear. And we also at the same time got the new best item of the grind, worth nearly 30,000. After one more KC, we're hitting the halfway point of the grind and we have absolutely no Abyssal Whip in sight and no Dark Totems either. If you're wondering, should I be doing this for money on your account? You just got 85 Slayer, you're thinking, maybe this is a good money maker. It is definitely not. Just in restores, ranging potions, like the weapon charges and everything. Even if I would get the whip, I would most likely lose money at this point, as it's only worth 1.6 million. The last milestone before the end of the grind, 400k in just one more hit, there we go. We have made nearly 1 million GP at this point, and we have actually got a lot more hard clear scrolls since last time, 5. Oh my god, yo, so close to the end, 436kc was the whip drop, 1.6 million GP, it looks so good on the ground with the red beam, we won both the challenges, and that by the way, the whip was almost down to nearly 900k for a bit, so for some reason it's been starting to go up again, which is nice to see, it looks so good. Oh my god, what is happening with this tree in cannabis? I could, <laughs> it's just clipping through everything. But anyways, let's open the five hard clue scrolls that we got from the Abyss of Demon Grind. And of course, we get to keep everything from these. Let's see how much we're going to be making. 182k, 86k, 83k. Can we get something good? 37k, it's just getting worse. And the last one is 71k. Not too great.
Very quick plug before we end the video, me, Seist, and Telecon, two other old school RuneScape YouTubers, have just started a second channel together where we can make collab content and a bunch of other interesting stuff for you guys. If you want to check that out, the link to that is in the description, and it will be at the end screen of this video. So, hope you guys will go over there and check that out, and until next time guys, take care. In the last video, we had an absolutely massive giveaway of 58.8 million GP, 1.8k comments. Let's see who the winner is. It is Tuyu Kuruka. Congrats to you on 58 million GP. And of course, here's the trade of the money. Hope you enjoy that and very nice purple outfit.